and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 246. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Wills. It's the end of the world as we know it, Norman, and I do not feel fine. Oh, why is that? Because, like, I watched the Nintendo Switch thing, and it was pretty cool. Okay, and how is that the end of the world? Because it's bringing out all the PC Master Racers and the Xbone console fanboys and the PS4 console fanboys and everybody's just bah, bah, the internet's a hellhole again man it's the end of the world really I haven't seen any of those oh okay it's just in the circles I am <laughs> uh, what are they saying and why is it such a bad thing oh like saying the memory size is too small the screen is a stupid resolution there's no games coming out for it <laughs> Etc. 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 Well, et shows them what they know. First game coming out is going to be the new Zelda. Well, aside from that, it's the target audience. Like Nintendo knows that those people who are into the PC and other consoles are not going to buy into it. So it's for the Nintendo feet fools. Ah, it's just people people being rude because people want to be rude. But hey, you know what? Enough about games. Let's talk about ponies. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In today's funny news, Dave Polsky, not writing for Season 7. He shall be missed. If you guys remember Dave Polsky, he's one of the previous writers for the show. From what I understand, someone on the Twitters asked him if he's going to be writing for Season 7. And he replied, nah, he's not going to be on the new season. And instead, he'll be working on another show. So yeah, he'll be missed. He did some really... Good um, episodes, if I did remember right. I'm actually forgetting what episodes he wrote right now. I Some fan I am. <laughs> yeah, one of the episodes he wrote was Twilight Time. Oh, okay, I liked that one. We'll see all the foals being really weird at the end. <laughs> Twilight Time, Twilight Time. Yeah, he he does he does a lot. He he does a lot. And uh, let me see. I, I got his thing up here now. Too many Pinkie Pies. That's what he wrote. Ah, good. The one that has the pinky clones. Uh, keep calm and flutter on is what uh, one of the things he did also. So yeah, uh, he did did a lot. So yeah, he'll be missed. Hey, he's going on to a new project, so we wish him the best of luck in all his new projects. May they be highly successful, or at least fun to work on. Yep, true, 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 true. Doesn't hurt to get both. Yep, yep. Uh, but who will be on is uh, the Fox Brothers. Yay! But Jamie Foxx is working on MLP? No, the Fox Brothers, um, Michael and Will Fox. They did the Gift of the Mod Pie. What else did they do? Uh, let's see. Uh, Apple Jack's Day Off, Pony Point of View, and I think that's about it because they're recent in the writing staff. So it'll be cool to see them do more in season seven. Pony point of view was actually pretty creative, so I'm looking forward to see what other creative ideas they come up with. Mm -hmm. That's going to be cool. And also, mm -hmm. coming back is Jim Barrow. Oh, cool. So, Jim Barrow, if you don't know, is one of the writers who did, uh, who does the My Little Pony um, paperback. I want to say paperback. It's the kid novel. The books. Yeah, the books. Yeah, so the expanded universe lore. Maybe GM, maybe they'll get GM Barrow to finally do us, uh, to, to write us a Celestia Luna episode. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That'll be interesting. That will be interesting yeah. indeed. What, 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 one can hope. One can hope. We've all seen the, uh, the, the, uh, picture of a horse skeleton <laughs> with a t-shirt saying Celestia number one fan <laughs> holding a sign saying waiting for Celestia episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that, that's going to be a while. Um, her writing works is the one where Pinky Pie knows. Yeah, that, that is the one, <laughs> that is a very strange episode if you remember, right? Mm. Uh, it's the one episode where Pinky has to keep a secret. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, that one. The one where basically, uh, also Shining apparently put her, put his sister on a very complicated scavenger hunt. He knows his sister a bit too well that she likes solving things. <laughs> yeah. Nerds. Yeah. He's an equally big as nerd to come up with all of it as well. <laughs> uh, so true. And for season seven, uh, she'll be writing two episodes. So yay. Cool. 
What are you looking for? What What are you hoping to see in season seven, Norman? Hmm. Well, uh, besides the uh, obvious Celestia and Luna episodes, uh, <laughs> probably more world building. Like, um, explore the world a bit more with. Uh, griffins or dragons like build up on what you have established more because you already told us that griffins have their own land you showed us a bit more so why not expand on those right yeah yeah those would be cool i actually kind of wonder what's happened with cheese legs queen cheese legs or what happened with uh the now uh king technicolor yeah yeah well we'll see because uh those are some good points to want to see more in the future because you establish new characters and well um Tor, Tor what's his name? Not Torex, but T- Torex was it? No, what was his name again? Torex. Torex, yeah, Torex. You you build him as a character, let's see him, right? Yeah, yeah. And plus, you know, now he's a king. Going from a lowly peon to a king in one day. <laughs> also he looks like a deer. Did so Yeah. And you know what? Uh, it'll be great to see, uh, who's this character's name is again? Give me a second. Uh, he, he's the brother for T-Rex. Oh, Scorpan. Yeah, Scorpan. Yeah. It'll be great to see Scorpan. Who knows, right? Like, he is mentioned by name. So, who knows? We might get a visit from him. Uh, that'd be cool. It's like, hey, heard my brother was bothering you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what about you, Will? Well, yeah, it's also a little episode, but I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to see the return of Cheese Sandwich, Weird Al. Oh. Love to see him again. Uh, I would also, as King Thorax, you know, mention that. Um, I guess what I'd really, really like to see is an episode that, oh, this is complicated. All the good ones have been done, kind of. I mean, really, aside from the Celestia and Luna episode and the, and the, th- and the thorax and the world building, yeah, that's basically it. That's all I want. I mean, everything else, everything else for a great series has already been met for me. Every ca- I can I can name at least uh, every major character having at least a great moment to shine here and there. All right, all right. Well, probably there will be more, but hey, it's season seven. There's going to be quote unquote twenty six more episodes, so we'll see. And feeling those 26 episodes are going to be background music done by Will Anderson. So, Will here, he's going to be doing um, the background music for the show, like per usual. And it seems that he's be, or he'll be doing all of this background music working all straight through August. Oh, jeez. That's going to be a lot of work, man. So, if he starts in February then and it's like 26 in a row... He gets like a week to work on each one. That's crazy. But if he starts right now, then he's got basically like a week and a half for each song. And that is really pushing your creativity to a limit. <laughs> true, true. I'm sure he'll uh, manage it because he does his work a bit well. And at the same time too, right? Um, he's doing the background music. That doesn't mean the show is going to be finished in August. This is just, well, the start. <laughs> Means you could probably just finish a couple BGs, and you know they're constantly playing the uh, the time game. Yeah, and he'll be done with this one. He'll send it off. People in the animation department will do it. The voiceover will do something and send it off to the animation department. And you know what? We'll have that uh, mid-season break, like we always get. Looking forward to it, nonetheless. But yeah, good luck to him working on all those uh, uh, background music. Because the background music you may not hear enough, but. Uh... It does fit the mood. Yep. It's all about the mood. Yep, background music really helps with the mood. Uh, moving on to something not related to the music, um, Hasbro to attend the Nappy Miami Season 7 Equestria Girls news to come. So, what is this Nappy? <laughs> uh, Nappy. Uh, so, in short, it means National Association of Television Program Executive. So, what does this do? Executives. Yeah. It's going to be a bunch of big wigs meeting and talking about how their television shows are going to be so much more awesome than their television shows, and they're going to be great. It's it's nothing more than just an, a bunch of stuff to appease shareholders. Eh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, but shareholders is giving the money. Uh, let's see the the reason or what this is. Uh, 
will showcase the entertainment industry and provides platform for upcoming and established franchise and companies to share their content and tips. Huh. So it's basically to share and, you know, share stuff. Okay. So this is cool. Uh, this is insider info, but hey, who knows? Uh, we might get more info on the show, season 7 and stuff, and also probably Equestria Girls, or maybe the movie. Who knows? Uh, who knows what we could get, but we may get nothing. We may just get repeating the same thing, but hey, we can, we can, we can hold our, hold our breath. Who knows what we're gonna get? Ah, uh, true that. And talking about movies, <laughs> it seems that Hasbro just locked in another celebrity for their movie. Could you guess who is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, they locked in Ricardo Montalban. I wish, but nah, he moved on. Uh, oh, um, okay, uh, Robin Williams. <laughs> you're just pulling my leg right bone, aren't you? Is it too bad that I want all the people who are dead to come back to life just so they could be in more things? I know, they got David Bowie. <laughs> they, they just played some Ziggy Stardust and he's back. <laughs> and there in the corner next to Derpy is Prince. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Back on the real world, uh, we got Zoe Saldana. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm gonna say that. Well, Zoe Saldana is, well, uh, Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy, or oh, okay, or there's Star Trek, the the new girl from Star Trek. Uh, who was it again? Uhura, yeah, yeah, was... her too, and also the blue alien chick from Avatar. Oh, and Terry. Mm-hmm. Oh, so um, plays an alien in one, plays an alien in another, mm-hmm. and plays um an updated uh communications officer. Wonder what she's what role she's gonna get in here. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know, but she does have that booming, powerful voice, so it'll be cool. Wonder if she gets to play a villain or something. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Why not, right? Oh, that would be fun. That would be really fun. Yeah. So, well, Zoe is in the crew now, along with um, Michael Pena and so on. So yeah, this is gonna be cool. We got a good amount of cast people, and we got a. There's, there's positive hopes for this movie. I'm mm. definitely going to go see it. Well, I am going to see it, even if it's bad, just because. But uh, here's the thing. Do you think that this movie is getting a bit too crowded with its celebrities? Uh, Maybe. I think they maybe uh, hope the budget wasn't too large on this thing. Well, it is their first MLP movie in, what, 20 plus years? No, maybe longer, yeah, right? Theatrical release, too. Yeah. I mean... I kind of think they should have struck while the iron was hot, and they should have done this at least two years ago. This is what they should have done instead of Equestria Girls. But uh mm, True. But at the same time, too, I don't blame them because Equestria Girls was kind of the quote-unquote uh, blooming ground, or things are just getting started. And for them to start off with a major motion movie... Like, uh, I, I think last year they started their new studio, All Spark Studios. Mm-hmm. And one of the few movies that came out of it was Gem and the Hologram and this one. Yeah, so we can only hope that this one has considerably better writing and is more faithful to the source material. Well, this one is going to be faithful because, um, besides the celebrities that we mentioned, the main six original voice actors or act actors and actress are going to be there so we'll see and the director for this one is going to be jason thiessen who does know the show inside and out and also screenplay has been written by megan mccartney so this movie is going to be well fateful because you have people from the show coming on and also it seems that this movie is coming out on october 6th October 6th. Hmm. That's probably going to be... Uh, yep, true. Probably going to be on a Thursday, as any movie would come out. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's going to come out in the mid-season hiatus, or if it's going to come out well, uh, when, you know? When are they going to do it? Hmm. And is the TV show going to try and uh, collaborate with the movie at all? Like, is there going to be... Uh, you know, is there going to be a an episode that ties into the movie or an episode that takes place after the movie? 
You know, that is a really good point. I, I don't know. We have to wait and see because right now all the speculation that we can just throw out won't really amount to anything because, well, I, I don't know. It would be nice if it really plays in between the episode and movies, something related. But if that's the case, if people haven't seen the new episode, they won't get anything out of the movies. So it could be a high possibility that a movie is going to be its own thing. Well, we'll have to find out. If they are going to do their own thing, uh, <coughs> well, the biggest thing with any movie is that will this work as a standalone thing? Could you come into this with zero knowledge of the ponies and actually enjoy it? Or will it just be something that expects you to have Prior knowledge. more or... Yeah. Yeah, but I well, think... it depends. Yeah, but I think that prior knowledge would be well suited but if you haven't seen the episode you'll probably get a sense of what's going on and also have you seen the new art for the movie um the new title card for it yeah just the new picture that they posted out like that picture there it looks pretty neat and this is done with toon boom now oh yeah toon boom was pretty dang handy and well i wish them luck because i can't wait to watch this 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 is one of those things where I can wait, and it's in October too, so yay. <laughs> oh, the anticipation, it's going to kill me. Yeah, yeah, it's going to kill all of us. Oh, but still, I, I can wait, it's going to be one of those cool things. Ah, uh, well. So, that's the news for this week. Other than that, um, what have we been doing? Well, playing more games and working. Mm, you've been working, I've been playing games. Well, I've also been working, I basically just full-time. Kicking the butt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, talking about working, um, um, the channel recently started a Patreon page. And, well, don't like to beg, but hey, if you guys out there want to support the show, you can support us via the Patreon. Support our filthy habits of talking about ponies. It's not filthy. <laughs> It's just a bunch of guys talking about the show. And in all honesty, um, <coughs> the rewards here are a bit on the lower end now. As of now, the first goal is going to be $50. And <laughs> I don't know how you want to count this, but it's a uh, dollar and five dollars for starting. Like, um, the dollar tip jar is just, well, thanks. Like, a dollar tip jar will be really awesome. And if you guys out there have a topic for us to discuss, either here or on the review show, you can um, give us five bucks. <laughs> um, that one is going to be kind of experimental for now. So that's one slot open per month. So yeah, the, the tip jar is the best viable way to... Help me get the fifty dollar, uh, which I'm gonna call this uh, goal. Yay! So please, the more you support us, the more we'll be able to review, like those comics or those episodes or those um, video games. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Video games. Those are something that we do. Really, we do. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, in the channel's history, we only had two of them: uh, Destiny, done by Silver. And Assassin's Creed with Alpha Brony. So yeah. How ca how, how can Silver review uh, Destiny if he can't play it? He does play it. <laughs> no, I mean, he doesn't play it well. <laughs> uh, no comment, that one? Hey, he's admitted it himself. Hey, hey, hey. I, I am not one to judge. Like, if he enjoys the game, he enjoys the game for the story or for the characters. It's his prerogative. I'm not gonna uh, lambast him for. You nothing. can't enjoy. You can't enjoy Destiny for the story and the characters because there is none. <laughs> there is. There, there's that guy Bob with his evil dreadnought. Yeah, yeah, sure. And all the stories in some online encyclopedia thing in cards. Well, if you guys out there have something better for us to talk about, five bucks into the Patreon, we'll get your suggestions out there and, well, we'll do it. Gosh dang it. We'll talk about... We'll talk about anything. Terms and conditions may apply. Yeah, as long as it isn't about 
politics or religion or how Celestia is, you know, an evil dictator fascist god queen <laughs> of all pony kind. Aim before somebody pulls that out. I... Uh, but still... You will worship Celestia. But still, um, please do support our Patreon page because uh, we've been doing this for five years now and you know what? Uh, it'll be awesome to get some gratification. <laughs> uh, please. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at Uh Wills, where can the good people find you? You can find me as Will as in on Tumblr, on DeviantArt, and on Fim Fiction. That's W-I-L-I-Z-I-N. You can follow me on Finviction for my stories. You can follow me on Tumblr for posts about D&D and silly cute things. And you can also find me on DA where I don't post art. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyForLife.com. Links will be in the show notes. And also uh, do subscribe to our newest endeavor, which is the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, me, Silver, Sapphire Heart Songs, and a bunch of special guests come down and review stuff like the comics, the TV series, or random stuff like movies, or video games, or you know what? Since we got that Patreon thing, maybe the topics that you want us to talk about. Who knows? So, please do subscribe over there for that. The possibilities are endless. True that. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Will. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> uh, we'll catch you guys next week with another amazing show of the MBS show. See ya. Goodbye. Norman, you have to go with me and go get this soul stone and stick it into your head. Why? Well, um, because reasons. Don't we need a horror cube or something like that? No, no, no. All, all you need is this soul stone. Just jab it into your forehead, and everything will be fine. That doesn't sound safe. No, no. You're gonna, you're gonna keep us safe from Diablo. It's the only way. Uh, knowing you, Descartes. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs>